Hello and welcome to another new episode of Learning Simplified with the tutorial of WordPress Code Your Template from Scratch. In this part, we will be learning how to add widget section to our WordPress theme. Now in a prior occasion, we had told last time that we will be discussing on customization from now on. But the point is, it is better to stick into the previous uh, thinking, into the previous idea that first of all, we will be completing all of our programming part and then we'll be concentrating into the customization part such that the things remain synchronized. So that is why we will be first learning about how to create our own WordPress widget section into our theme, how to code them. And then we'll be heading to some other programming part and then finally we will be uh, preparing ourselves to customize our theme. Now in this part, first of all, if we look into the admin panel of some other project, we can see that into this appearance section, there is a widget into our theme. If we click here, we can see that already a widget have been created here as the name of sidebar. And we have already used some of these things like this categories here, this meta part right over here. And if we head back to the front end view of our theme into, the, into that particular project, we can see that this is, these are practically those exact elements, those we have created here. This is the categories section and this is the meta section. All of them are right now present right over here. This is due to the fact that we have enabled, we have registered and widget into our project and then we have used them to display some of the WordPress elements or something like this categories or meta into our project. So this is the same exact thing that we are about to implement here. As we can see, if we now hover down to this appearance section, there is nothing like this widget. So the first point is we have to register this widget and the second point is we need to activate that widget into the particular front end view of our WordPress theme. So let's head on. If we now get back to our functions.php, this is the first part where uh, we are practically enabling all the chief or source controls of this WordPress theme and this is where we'll be exactly creating our WordPress widget section. So that is why we will be mentioning Now here comes the point. First of all, we need to add WordPress widget to our site. So we will be creating a so this is a function that I have created. This is a custom defined function which is known as my WordPress widget. In the prior case, all we are going to do the first thing is we need to register the widget here. So here comes the WordPress function register underscore sidebar. This WordPress function practically registers a widget section into our theme into the admin panel. So what it does here, it uses an array. There it goes. In the first place, we need to register our widget section here with a definite name. And this is the part which is practically uh, being used, being seen by the user from one's own end. So that is why we need to make it user friendly. So in this case, we may write it down as sidebar. And in the next case, we will be using an ID here. This 
is practically being recognized by the machine. So we need to make it machine friendly definitely and we can ID it with any name that we want for say if we wish to make it like this one new widget section then there is absolutely no problem in majority case it is named as sidebar but we may name it as this one so here comes the second one now as we have done both of them first of all press ctrl s then we need to mention precisely when this widget should come in action so this is the hook that we are going to use here this is widgets in it and on the other hand we need to call the function that we have created here this is the function that we have created so we are going to copy it and we are going to paste it right over here so this is how we may register the WordPress widget section into our theme. First of all, press Ctrl S and get back to our project and below. And now, if we hover to this appearance section, we can see that there is a definite widgets into our WordPress theme. So we have successfully registered our widget into our theme. Now, if we click into and we can see that this is the same exact name that we have used right over here. This is the naming of this WordPress function sidebar. So same name comes right over here. And here we may add these categories. You may put some title right over here. I am leaving it empty. And we may put this meta section. So we have used both of them into our project. Now if we just head back to the front end section and now if we reload, scroll down or scroll up anywhere, that particular activated widget is practically unseen. This is due to the fact that we have registered this widget into our theme but we haven't activated it anywhere into our project. So the second thing is we need to activate our widget. 